All right, this is gonna be a short placeholder video, but I'm going for a run. I've not run in so long. I've done like maybe one mile, two mile runs every once in a blue moon. I'm in the same building as a gym. Been doing a lot of boxing lately. Uh, it's been great. I'm making sure the framing on this video is okay. Um, but uh, I'm gonna run to Central Park. I live on 14th Street. It's gonna be two and a half miles up. Chances are I'm gonna make it five minutes in and have to walk for a while. I'm gonna just take some videos along the way, maybe try to talk along the way, work on my, uh, my vlogging skills here. Super short video, nice placeholder. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna do some last stretches because I'm so scared my... <laughs> it's been so long. So it's been a while since I've done a video on my phone. Then again, it's been a while since I've been doing consistent video. I also have two blisters on both heels, pretty much. My, the soles of my sneakers were kind of trash, so I put in new ones, but they were too high. And I've got bandages on both my heels and moleskin on the inside of the shoes. So my only excuse for coming back early will be uh, extreme pain or consistent irritation. But, oh no, that's not good. That doesn't bode well. Okay, so the new plan here, I can record while it's music, so I'm gonna just turn my mic on at some points, this is voice recording, and put b-roll over this stuff. Just starting, finally hit Union Square. They're setting up some, like, winter market thing, yeah, first off. Plan is to run up Broadway, and then uh, hit Fifth Ave, and just run all the way up, which means I'm going from about 17th Street up to 54th. So two and a half miles, I'm saying it'll take me 30 minutes, and that's if I run it all. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm feeling pretty good, though. Okay, so I've already hit fit. That took like five minutes. Uh, 25th Street. I also realized I didn't bring gloves. I don't have any. So, uh, thingies might get a little cold on this one. I hope this is Fifth Avenue. Oh, that's Fifth Avenue. Okay, so just hit 36. I'm really bad at pacing myself. So, my uh, lungs are hurting a bit. Usually do, also the cold there a little bit. Head's warm, got a hat on. Gonna keep it on for a while. All right, 40 seconds been hit, and we're off. I do have a bad habit of just like, not going slow between blocks, so then I stop and then I run. And then it's like three lights in a row, which is great. Two things I've observed already. It's been a while since breathing's been an issue. In the sense of running out of breath, so it was muscle fatigue because I was a swimmer for a while. So, breath isn't my issues, always legs, but I'm feeling great right now. Lungs are hurting a bit because of the cold and consistent use of it. And now I've got to use my nose more. I'm curious about how editing this will go. You know, having these little little voiceover talks over some B-roll that I get when I'm either stopped or walking. I'm thinking if it turns out well. But just if I enjoy editing it, because I'm enjoying doing it, it gets me out here multitasking. Making the video keeps me more focused and just doing nothing lets my mind come back to the present. Aside from saying, oh, I'll just turn back now. Try every Sunday and use running to Central Park as a metric. Ah, oh, I missed a life of 46. Hopefully, on the next stop running, I'll just get there. Hit 48, stopping for a sec. I need to take some focused breaths through my nose, out my mouth. But look at this cool ass building in the meantime. So it's hit 54th. I don't see Central Park anywhere. Oh, I was very wrong. 58th. Oh, <laughs> I have four more to go. I'll stop once I hit 60th, because that's like another entrance to it, I guess. Hit that multiple of six. Ducks. <laughs> uh, you know, there are people all around me right now. It's, I guess, busy. I don't feel very awkward about talking to the camera, which is, a, which is another win today. I'm surprised I made it, and I'm surprised I'm feeling good to go back. 
just not necessarily catching my breath, but just making my lungs feel not as frozen. If I take off my hat, I'm probably like super sweaty. Yeah. It's less about what people think of me and what I think of myself when I'm doing this, I think. So, I don't know. I think after this past week or so, I needed a win. This is that win, I guess. And it'll be a good video for Monday. I didn't fail running to Central Park. I didn't fail actually making a video out of this, at least not yet. <laughs> And I am recording myself in front of a bunch of people right now. Anyway, as someone who feels like I gotta connect with nature more, like, I should do this more often. Can I switch while I'm, no I can't, but I'll get a little B-roll shot here of the ducks and geese, I guess. Spawns of Satan. The ducks are the important thing. But yeah, if you live in New York City, you should get to Central Park. 10 minute subway ride, 20 minute run. <laughs> I'm surprised, I made it here at 1.09. Um, and I started recording that entrance footage. Um, so I, my guess was gonna, I was gonna make it here by 1.15. Yeah, next week is Duo versus Rosetta, and then a keto video. We're really hoping the audio on this works. It's working for the, pipe, the microphone recording, so. Yeah, I guess without further ado. All right, cutting to the future for just a moment here. As I was walking out of Central Park uh, on a bench, I saw this, it says, hey you, hey you, pick me up. Uh, and I was like, oh, this is funny. And so there's this little painted rock here. It's a Remembug and its name is Baby Trudgel. Has some instructions here. It's kind of saying like, travel with me, do, amaz do something amazing for someone new, random acts of kindness can feel good. Uh, and it's to remember someone who passed away. This is starting to get really meta, switching between cameras like this and stuff, but actually there's a whole Facebook page called Tribe Rocks Remembugs. It's super cool to see all of these different rocks, there are so many of them that people have found and are posting. It's so cool to see all the environments they've been in. There's one line that says, thank you for honoring my memory and picking me up. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take this with me. And there's a little receipt paper-ish thingy on the back here that says we found her in Pisa, Italy in September of 2019. So whoever dropped it off, that was pretty cool. Mark, in the future future, can you put a clip in and see if you can see if baby Trudger was on the bench as I'm walking into Central Park? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Anyway, I'm gonna transcribe this little thingy to French uh, and bring it with me to Paris and drop it off somewhere there because I think that would be super cool. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go back to me saying goodbye awkwardly because I'm still around people. Thanks for watching. Peace.